We are at script number four of the guided project, extracting NDVI time series. In the previous script, we saw how to take a MODIS collection of images for one year and take one farm point and generate a time series chart for NDVI. Now we need to extract time series for 100 farm locations. So let's see how to do that. If you have a single image and you want to extract NDVI or any other value from say a feature collection, you can use this function called reduce regions. And this function runs on an image and takes a feature collection and gives you another feature collection back with has got the extracted value at each of these points or polygons. We need to do this for every image in the MODIS collection. So then we can now to do that, we take the MODIS collection, map a function that runs reduced regions for each images and uh, we can extract all the points. So let's just try to do this. For now, I'm just gonna name this as results and we'll take our scaled NDVI collection, which has got 23 images throughout the year. And for this, we need to map a function and this function will get a single NDVI image. And we know how, given a single NDVI image, we can run this reduce regions function on that. So let's write that and we'll get a feature collection with stats on it. So I'm naming my output as with stats. We'll take the image, run this reduce regions function and we'll fill out the parameters, the collection, which is the feature collection, which is going to be the farms. The reducer is going to be E reducer mean, that's a default, but you can change it if you need to. Scale is going to be 250 meters. And that's it. And we can now return with stats. Let's print this result and see what we get. So this is running on 23 images. So we get 23 result feature collections. So you can see this is a every item in this collection is a feature collection. And so this is a nested list where it's a feature collection of feature collections. And that doesn't work very well for a lot of the processing. So let's flatten it out. And there's a healthy function called flatten. If you run this, all of this collection would be put in a single collection. And you will see that we'll get for a hundred points, 23 images. So we'll get a feature collection of 2,300 uh, items. And that's more useful. Let's see what of this, uh, items contain. And as expected, it'd be uh, the feature, the farm feature with the NDVI value at the location. The first thing is you notice that the key is called mean um, and we want to actually name it NDVI. And this is also a helpful tip when you run a reducer, there's a default name that it assigns the outputs to. You can change it by using this function called dot set outputs. And that takes a list because many reducers actually return multiple values. Here, we, it just returns one value, so we just name it NDVI. And instead of printing the full results, we can just, I'll just print the first one. So let's see what happens now. Set outputs, sorry. So now you can see the, the key is now named as NDVI. So that's great, but we are missing the date on which this uh, particular NDVI was extracted for. So let's get, add the date back to it. And so we can do that by uh, set, extracting the images ID. The IDs of the images look like this 2010-0101. So that contains the date. So what we'll do is this, uh, feature collection that uh, is generated from this function. We can just say map another function to it. And this is a feature collection. So the function, the map function will take a feature and we can say return the feature and set an additional property called image ID. And just take the, the image that you are reducing and uh, store its ID on it. So let's just run this now and see what we get. So now we get this three things, which are our triplets. That's what we are after, right? We have the farm IDs, the date on which the image was extracted and the NTBI value of that. And we have 2300 such triplets. 
So we'll take, uh, we'll rename this to triplets. And in the next script, we'll take this triplets and reformat it so that instead of having 2300 rows in our output table, we'll just have one row per farm and we have 23 columns with uh, NDBI value for each of the dates through the year. So that's for coming up in the next script.